Now that the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine has been granted emergency use authorization by the FDA, and we have begun the first series of vaccinations at Madigan, we want to urge all of our patients and the public to continue their vigilance in following COVID-19 safety guidance. FDA emergency use authorization and rapid distribution of the first vaccine against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID, is an amazing breakthrough. However, we are not at the finish line yet. Even after this vaccine and others in development become more readily available, we're still urging everyone in the JBLM community to continue wearing masks, practicing social distancing, hand hygiene, and avoiding large gatherings. That's even after vaccines are widely distributed. Although we know the vaccine is effective in preventing severe illness from COVID-19 in about 90% of people, there are still some factors we don't know. For example, we don't yet know how long immunity produced by vaccination persists. We are also uncertain whether vaccinated people could still carry and or spread the virus. With that being said, stopping this pandemic requires using the tools we have available, all of the tools. Vaccines work to direct your immune system to fight the virus if you are exposed. Non-pharmaceutical interventions are the NPIs, like covering your mouth and nose with a mask and maintaining at least six feet of distance when possible, are exceptionally effective to reduce your chance of being exposed to the virus or the risk of spreading it to others. It's the combination of vaccinations and NPIs, along with appropriate testing and contact tracing that will allow us to move past this pandemic. We cannot emphasize this enough. COVID-19 vaccination and following CDC's recommendations to protect yourself and others can turn the tide against this pandemic. Although there were reports of reactions to the vaccine, according to the FDA, the most commonly reported side effects are mild. These include pain at the injection site, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, and fever. More people experience these side effects after the second dose than after the first dose. So it's important for vaccination providers and recipients to expect that there may be some side effects after either dose, but especially after the second dose. When receiving a vaccination, these type of side effects are a sign that the vaccine is working, triggering your immune system, which in turn causes the mild symptoms. Let's also keep in mind of the occasional side effects Colonel Meese just mentioned are much more tolerable than a severe case of COVID-19, a disease thus far that has led to the deaths of over 300,000 Americans. Within the past month, all age groups have reached their highest weekly hospitalization rate since the start of this pandemic. According to data monitored by the NIH and the CDC, the numbers are expected to increase. Now is not the time that we become complacent or allow COVID fatigue to set in and then drop our collective guard. As Madigan is in the process of receiving and administering COVID-19 vaccines here at JBLM, in accordance with the DOD and DHA guidance, stay tuned to the Madigan Facebook page and website for updates and details on when and where you can receive the vaccine. Until next time, care, care with, with compassion. compassion.